This is JBLE TV, your place for news on the installation, for service members, and our community. The 71st Fighter Squadron saw combat in numerous conflicts, including World War II and Iraqi freedom, and was credited with the first air-to-air -air victory in Desert Storm. The Iron Man moved to Langley Air Force Base in 1975 and flew for over 30 years until its deactivation in September 2010. Now in 2015, the 1st Fighter Wing redesignates the 71st Fighter Squadron as the 71st Fighter Training Squadron in a ceremony. Well, it's still, it's still our operation. We are the ones that created it and then we ran it and we managed it and we did the missions they told us to do and came back home. We were the solid 71st all the way up and down and to have that still exist, it's reaffirming it seems to me what we set out to do initially. A fleet of 17 T-38s formerly assigned to the 27th Fighter Squadron are now assigned to the 71st Fighter Training Squadron to provide more accurate training for the 1st Fighter Wing F-22s. Use of these T-38s offer a more effective way of ensuring Raptor pilots are mission ready. Before this program stood up in 2010 with the T-38s, the, uh, the F-22s had to use their own aircraft to provide red air, and that's very expensive. So when, when the F-22 pilots provide the red air, uh, it, they don't get the best training out of it. So by standing up the T-38s, it's a much cheaper way of doing it, so it saves the Air Force money and we can provide a pretty pretty accurate representation of what the enemy is going to do. Members of the 71st Fighter Training Squadron are proud to carry on the rich legacy of the fighter squadron that paved the way for them. Senior Airman Jordan Garner, Langley Air Force Base, Virginia.